What's up guys? Steph here. Welcome to day eight of Vlogmas. I, it's nighttime. It's like kind of late at night. Actually, it's almost 10 o'clock. I've done a terrible job of vlogging, but I actually did stuff today, guys. I did stuff. I'm eating some cucumber, but um, what did I do today? Mm. I did a terrible job of vlogging, but I'll tell you what I did today. We made waffles this morning for breakfast. We made a savory waffle, which was delicious. And then I went to Costco with my dad. Oh, actually, I filmed some of that. Here's some um, footage of me at Costco earlier today. I don't understand how Hawkeye is not in this. They did put Ronan, however, in this one, which is cool. Not quite sure what this thing does. I guess it makes sound effects, I suppose. It's not Hawkeye, it's Ronin, so it's still not as cool, but they also have this eight card set for $15.99, which is pretty cheap for these types of card games, but I don't know if I'm gonna like all these games, so I probably won't get it. $25? Is this the one that they used on um, Dude Perfect? It kinda looks like it. Oh, this is kinda cool. Oh. I kind of want to get this. I love bow and arrows. $17.99. This is kind of cool. Ooh. Hmm. I don't need this. Okay, I've been looking for this soap at Costco for a couple weeks now, so I'm going to grab one of these and try them out. These seem like these would be good gifts but everyone's been raving about the scents of these. There's two sweet orange, a rosemary mint, and a creamy coconut. After Costco, I came home because I'm a little bit behind on editing my vlog, so I haven't posted yesterday's vlog yet, and today I posted the vlog from Friday, so I'm, I'm a day behind, but once I'm done filming tonight, I'll edit both of these so that hopefully I can have them posted. Well, that's basically all I did. Oh, I went to my parents' house for dinner, but that was pretty standard. There was nothing really to that. Um, I found a Sharpie because I want to number the rest of my Pokemon cards on that advent calendar that I made with the pu punchy holes. And then we have to do advent calendars. Um, I, have, um, I actually have a couple Amazon packages that I wanted to open that I got in today that I wanted to show you guys. Spoiler. They're like Apple Watch accessories. All right, I'm gonna go get some water first and then we'll do some things. We're gonna do the things. Okay, I got some water and I brought my advent calendars back into my room because they were out in the hallway from yesterday's vlog, which I haven't edited yet, but it was really funny and I think it should be, make for some pretty funny things. Um, I have these five packs of Pokemon cards that I want to label, so it's day eight. So I'm gonna do eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then I'm gonna label the box 13 through 24. So let's do eight. Nine. 10. Eleven, twelve. Random, so we're gonna go thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Okay, so there's my homemade Pokemon advent calendar. You know what I should have done this year for Vlogmas? Every day, like an advent calendar type thing, I should have just opened a random box from upstairs because I have so many boxes, I literally could have done like an everyday advent calendar. I wonder if I could do that like in real life, just like always have, I don't know what the definition of advent is, but have like in January, like every day I open a box. I mean, that's what I'm already supposed to be doing, but just one box, like, and then it's just like a short and sweet video. A box a day, 
Like what if my nerdy noob channel became a box a day and every day there's just no bells and whistles. I just said, here's the box and we're opening it. I should think about that. I think that'd be a good fast way to catch up on all the boxes because sometimes I get overwhelmed like right now I have like probably like 30 Funko Shop boxes and I'm like oh am I going to do like a giant mega unboxing that's going to take forever but if I just did a box a day that might be the way to go what do you guys think about that that idea I can even just use this camera and just like it's like short and sweet, like so fast. No, probably not even a lot of intro, probably not even a lot of outro. Just do like a video shout out, like open a box, video shout out, done. Hmm, I'm gonna think about that. I actually think that might be a good way to catch up. All right, before we do advent calendars, I wanted to open up some of these Amazon packages that I got because, um, well, oh, I can use my advent calendars as a, as a camera stand. Hold on one second. Oh, look at that, look at that. So basically, um, I don't know if I showed you guys, so you guys know I have my Apple Watch. And um, I've been, I know I bought like 30 bands when I first got this, but I went online at some point and I bought another band that I really like and it's this one. This band is this kind of meshy metal band and the watch actually, attaches and it's magnetic so that clasp is magnetic it's very strong and it's great on my wrist i absolutely love the way that it feels i love the way that it looks um huge fan of this band but at some point recently i don't know when this happened um i did something and it basically like i don't know if you'll be able to see it but one of these little mesh chains right here it broke so now this is really sharp and I didn't realize it was like that for a little bit. And one, I think it might be scratching the, the um, bottom of my Apple Watch. And two, um, it has been like catching on all of my clothing. And it's terrible because it started to kind of rip seams off of my clothing, you know? So I went online to try to buy a new one of these. And of course my excessiveness as you guys know or may know my excessiveness ended up making me I don't know I end up with a lot more than I probably needed to although I did also get one from Amy so there's that um so I wanted to just show these to you guys well but yeah this is what the band looks like on its own it's just one giant piece but that one piece it just sucks because it also doesn't allow me to tighten my band all the way because it couldn't fit through the clasp because of the thing was poking up I probably could have figured out how to try to like cut it or file it or something but I don't know I'm not that good that honestly that band costs like $12 so I just decided I should just order a new one so I'm hoping that in this package or in one of these packages are some new bands oh Oh, actually, this package was my second infinity scarf. I got one of these in gray. I don't know if I showed you guys. I love infinity scarves. If I had to wear a scarf, I would choose to win wear an infinity scarf just because I, I just like them better. So I got this infinity scarf. It's just black because um, it's starting to get cold outside now. So I've been getting some beanies. I tried to get some gloves from Costco today, but I didn't like the uh, assortment that they had. They just didn't fit my hands very well, so that was kind of disappointing. All right, let's see. Here's another Amazon package. So I want to say that this is the same one that I just had. So this is a black K space gray band. I want to say this looks just like the one that I have. Although, you know what? Hmm yeah i mean these look exactly the same this one might be a little bit more gray let me see i don't think i have the box still i would have to look on amazon these look the same don't they i'm pretty sure yeah those look the same so this is the new band it's the exact same as my other one it's just now this one's not broken so i'm going to retire that one i got size 38 to 40 so I don't know how that works, but this fits uh, the old smaller Apple Watch and then the newer smaller Apple Watch. Oh, hmm. this is something different. My dad is having a hard time peeling eggs and we were talking about it. So as we were talking, I looked this up on Amazon and it had really 
really good reviews, so I got it. Apparently it's some mechanism, you know, it's a kitchen gadget where you crack the egg with this thing and then you use this to peel it and then you shove this inside and it scoops the egg out of the shell. So I'm going to give that to him and see if it helps him. He eats a lot of eggs. He makes a lot of, um, he actually makes a lot of braised eggs, but with braising eggs, you have to hard boil the egg and then, and then actually crack the egg and peel it. So I'll give that to him at some point this week and see if it's better for him. And then this is the last Amazon package, I think. Yeah. So this should have a handful of the different bands. So here's one of the things that kind of caught me off guard. Um, the brand that I got the my other Apple Watch, it was called J-W-A-C-C-T. If you look up Apple Watch bands, this is uh, metal mesh bands or something, this is one of the ones that will pop up. So they have a listing. It has really great reviews, like really great reviews. It's like four and a half stars with like almost 2,000 reviews. So I got a couple more of these ones. Oh, wait a second. This one says this is a black band. This one said it was space gray. So I want to say that these aren't the same, the ones that I showed you. They're a teeny bit different. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on the screen because I, I don't think it. This one's a little bit more gray. And in theory, this one should be black. Yeah, so it's so subtle. You can barely tell. This is technically black and this is technically gray. I honestly don't even know if they're that different, to be 100% honest, but they say that they're different, so we're just going to go with it. All of these bands also comes with a little, like, case that you can put over your Apple Watch over, but I haven't been using a case lately. So the other one that I got was, I got this silver one. I thought it would be kind of cool to switch it up. I realize that I wear a lot of black. Like, I'm at work every day, and I look down, and I'm like, everything is black. My Even my Apple Watch, everything is black. So, I thought maybe I'd try to switch it up. Now, I don't know if it's going to look good because my Apple Watch is black, but I thought that it would be kind of a cool little contrast. So, we'll we'll try it out. I don't, I'm not usually a huge silver person. Then, the other thing that was confusing to me was, let's see. Basically, they had another listing that was the same company, but it was a different listing. And it had good reviews as well. It was like 800 reviews. Um, and but they were two dollars cheaper all the bands were two dollars cheaper so the ones that came in the box I think were um, it was like fourteen dollars fourteen or fifteen dollars with two dollars off coupon and then the ones that came in these little bags these ones were like thirteen dollars over your place for the two dollar coupon so these ones are a couple dollars cheaper um, I'm excited to try these ones out now this one's different but this one right here I actually got this one for Amy so Amy's gonna get this one but they had these, they call them iridescent, oops, iridescent bands. And let me show you this. It's kind of like a rainbowy thing. I don't know if it changes colors depending on the lighting. I'm not really quite sure. But it's the same concept. Oh, it does. Oh, it's neat. So it's the same concept band, but it's, it's iridescent. So it kind of changes colors depending on what lighting you have. So, ooh, this is neat. So this one is 4244 because Amy has a series three and she has the bigger one. So she has the 42 millimeter. So I'm gonna give her this one. And then uh, I got one for myself because I really liked it, but in the smaller size. So this one's mine right here, same thing. And then I don't know what this one is, 42 millimeters. That's too big. I don't know if I got this one for Amy. This one might be considered rainbow, but it's like the exact same. Oh, I like this one a little bit better, honestly, because it's a little bit more matte. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera. It has a little bit more of a matte finish, to be honest, but... So I guess, I think this one's gonna fit Amy's. I don't think this one's gonna fit mine. Yeah, this one's much too big. So this one will be Amy's too. I guess she'll get two of them. Apparently I got her two different ones so she can choose. That sounds like something I would do, to be honest. Oh, you know why these ones are cheaper? I just realized. These are the same company, the JWACCT. These ones are two dollars cheaper because it doesn't come with the little case, which I don't even use. So it's kind of better for me. Um, the ones that come in the boxes all have cases, but I don't, like I said, I don't need the case. So that's a good note for future self. Future self. Don't get the ones with cases. You have plenty. I kind of want to try out this iridescent one and see how it looks. 
And then if I don't like it, I'll just put the black one back on because I like the black one. This is, this is pretty cool. It basically changes colors in the light depending on how you look at it. Although I will say that for the most part, it has a gold tint to it. Um, for this one specifically, at least, I would say. There we go. Oh, it's nice to have my watch on tight. It's been kind of loose the past few days. Okay. So this pan looks really, like, more yellowish. But definitely in the colors, it kind of changes a little bit. So it has some purple blue. I think the one that Amy got, I would say, is a little bit more iridescent. Um, like, this one definitely is way, way more. Actually, no. I really like this one because this one has a good purple bluish tint. Um, these ones have more of a yellowish tint, but it's still pretty cool. I'm pretty excited. I potentially might look at getting this one specifically in my size from this brand. This was a different brand. This one was uh, YC Yanch. I don't know. Um, so yeah, we'll try this band out tomorrow and see how we like it. See if it looks good. I'll have to look at it in the mirror a little bit, but yeah, I like that. Okay, sorry. That was a bunch of random Apple Watch accessories. Let's go ahead and do our advent calendars. Since my camera's already set up this way, I'm just going to try to do it this way. I've never done my advent calendars like this, but we're doing, um, it's an even number, so we're doing our Harry Potter calendars. I'm excited because I think we're going to get some Hufflepuff socks in this one. Ah, so let's open it up and see what we got. All right, so sock pair number one, it's ankle socks. And these are little Hufflepuff socks with the... Hufflepuff Badger on it, not Beaver, Badger. Sometimes I say Beaver, but it's a Badger. I like those because I, I secretly want to be in Hufflepuff. It's not even a secret anymore. I've told everybody that I want to be in Hufflepuff. Okay, calendar number two. We're doing number four here. Ow. Uh-oh. There's no sock here. Did it move? Here they are. Okay, here it is. Okay. So we have a pair of socks, ankle socks again, and they're kind of like just different symbols that kind of represent Harry. So you have his glasses, and then you have the, um, well, I call that the Deathly Hollow symbol. I don't know if that's actually what it is, but that's what I call it with the wand. You know, it represents, yeah, the Deathly Hollows, right? I don't know. Um, well, those are cool. I still like the Huffle ones, Hufflepuff ones better. Okay, last calendar, sock calendar we have is um, our Hedwig calendar, and we're doing, ooh, it's going to be Slytherin. They fell a little. That's the only problem with these. I would suggest if you have these to keep them upright, or no, keep them flat, because there's no, um, there's like little doors for each one, but there's no actual dividers to keep the socks from moving, so they do tend to shift. Okay, we got some ankle socks that are, oh, they have the Slytherin Serpent on it, and they're green with some black, and the design's like silver. I actually really like these. I think I might actually like these better than the Hufflepuff socks, but I really want to be a Hufflepuff, so I don't really know. But these are three pairs of socks. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm excited about those. And then I'm going to give you the, the first person view because I'm going to have my cameras on top of my other advent calendar, so I have to move them now. Dark like this? No, Amy, we can't see you when it's dark. <laughs> there it is, there Hi. it is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait. I'm not turning my light on. I wanted to show you. Did I flip it? No, wait. How come it didn't no, flip? I still see you. Okay. I wanted to Ooh. show you. These are your two bands. Although they're the same, I don't know why I got you two of the same ones. I think I was testing out different companies. Those um, are cool. Yeah, they are pretty cool, actually. This one's really cool. This one has really good purple-blue hues to it. Yeah. And then this one has a little bit more yellowish hues. Ooh, I like the way those look. Yeah. Do you want to see mine? Yes. Okay, um, okay, I'm gonna stop vlogging you now. Okay, I was talking to Amy for a little bit, but we gotta do our advent calendar. So, uh, let's go ahead and check this out. So we have, oh, I usually hold my camera, huh? I was wondering why this felt so weird. So we did seven yesterday, we're doing eight today. What do we have? I think that's Daredevil. Let's open this up. Daredevil? I'm pretty sure this is Daredevil. Based off of what he looks like and the DD that's on his chest. So this calendar, or this day we got Daredevil. 
Um, I can't imagine that's going to be a variant in the other one, so I bet you this one's going to be the same. <gasps> it's empty. Where is it? You guys, did I just, I just ripped that open, didn't I? No one, what happened here? Oh, hmm. Wait a second. Hold on. Okay, I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to open number nine. Oh, he ended up in number nine. That's kind of weird. Okay, we'll close that up. That's weird. Two ended up, I thought somebody stole him. He's is the same, but he should be in number eight. Nine. They they double pack number nine. Who was sneak peek tomorrow? Okay. So there's our marble calendar. That's hilarious. Uh, that was kind of funny. I was like, oh no, it's empty. Let's do our Harry Potter. Day number eight. Mmm. Whoa. Okay. So, this is one of the Weasley brothers. This doesn't look to be oldest Weasley brother dude who slays dragons. So I'm going to assume it's one of the twins, I think. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm going to have to look that one up. I'm not quite sure. But I'm going to go with either Fred or George, I think. No, actually, um... What's the oldest Weasley brother's name? I feel like it's Charlie. Is Charlie the one who ends up marrying Fleur? 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 I don't know how to say her name. Okay, well, I'm going to stop guessing, and I'm just going to go with that. Um, before we do our Lego calendar, let's go ahead and check out our Pokemon cards. So today we're going to open a pack of Evolution. And I think what everyone goes for in this pack is our, our Hollow Charizard card. I don't know if there's like an EX version of it, but... Okay. Oh. That's sad. I know a lot of you guys don't like when I show you guys the code card, but I like to see it. It helps my expectations. There's a code card for any of you guys who still play Pokemon TCG Online. One, two, three. I think it's four. I think it was three, actually, so we'll put that back there. Okay, here we go. God, these cards are so old school. We got a Hunter and a Ghastly. Magnemite, Seal, Charmander, Diglett. Our uh, Reverse Hollows of Venusaur Spirit Link, and then you guys saw our Reticate, which is our regular rare. Okay, so nothing in that pack. And then last but not least, we have our Harry Potter advent calendar. We are in day number eight. Um, I don't know how well we showed you yesterday, but Jackson built this table. Um, he said there was a piece missing, but I see the piece down there, so it wasn't really missing. Uh, it's a table with, with a couple goblets on it. We'll put that back in there. And then we're going to do number eight, Whoa. which is right here. And we have... Is that a turkey? We have a turkey feast with whatever those yellow things are supposed to be. I like the instructions for this one. Put the legs on the turkey. I think I can do that. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can do this with one hand is the question. I can't. I need two hands. Okay, turkey legs are in. Wait a second. There. I think these, are these supposed to be like rolls or something? Oh, wait a second. Oh, is the turkey just supposed to sit, oh, the turkey is just supposed to sit on the table and these are supposed to be in the bowl, like that. See? And the turkey on the table. All right, well that's an interesting one. We're going to go ahead and put that back in there. Well, there you have it. My hair is a hot mess. Sorry, I broke one of my hair ties, and so my hair is, like, not in the ponytail very well, but also I've been laying down, so. Um, there you have it. Day number eight of Vlogmas. It's been going well so far, guys. I'm sorry that I'm still trying to get in the groove of just, like, vlogging while I'm doing things, and it's really difficult sometimes when I have work because, you know, when I'm working, it's not like I'm vlogging at work. Although, um... 
tomorrow they are picking up all of the food drive items. Oh gosh, my camera wasn't even open the whole time, sorry. They're picking up all the food drive items, so I'll try to film all of the stuff that we collected at our site. And then the other thing is I got a comfy for my office because my office is really cold. Does anyone know what a comfy is? I got it from Costco. They had a sale where you got a two pack for, I forgot how much it was, but um, I'm gonna bring that to work tomorrow so that I can wear it because it's cold in the office. So I'll show you guys that because that's pretty funny. Like it's basically like a giant hood jacket. Not a hood jacket, a blanket jacket. It's like a blanket sweatshirt. It's like a big hoodie, but it's a blanket, but it's a, a hoodie. So I thought that was pretty funny. Um, okay. Hey, let me know for reals though what you guys think about that whole admin thing. I was talking to Aiden about it. I was like, hey, that's a good way for me to catch up is just do one box a day, like quick quick unboxing, one box a day. I would still do other unboxing. Like if I got like a mystery box in, I would still do that as not part of the daily unboxing but like just like having a short video every single day I think that would really help me catch up I think that would be pretty cool anyways let me know what you guys think about that thank you for thank you for joining me on day eight of vlogmas and I will see you guys back tomorrow good night